So, tell me, what'd you see in our little enclave of sand and debauchery? Bet it was an eye-opening experience. Nothing I haven't seen before. That it for jobs? Not exactly. I got one more favor to ask. You want to get teeth out, right? What's your angle? <laughs> Just get your ass to the Coliseum. You'll see. We've been waiting for you, champ! We've been waiting for you, champ! Come back anytime you want to fight. We've been waiting for you, champ! Stands are packed thanks to you. Now get out there and give them a show! Lovers of bloodshed and mayhem, your favorite champion, Cloud, is back in the ring! Right now, this boy may be hot, hot, hot. But look out, folks, because these dynamite challengers may just blow the champ clean off his throne. I hope you brought shades because you're about to see some fireworks. Fighters, begin! We've been waiting for you, champ! Come back anytime you want to fight.
We've been waiting for you, champ! Come back anytime you want to fight. We've been waiting for you, champ! Stands are packed thanks to you. Now get out there and give them a show! Lovers of... Come <laughs> on. 
We've been waiting for you, you champ. Stands are packed thanks to you. Now get out there and give them a show. Lovers of blood.
still in it. for the cash. Tell me about Tifa. Ah, Tifa. She's something of a bombshell herself, huh? Girl keeps in shape. And boy, does it show. Hey. Just making an observation, that's all. Anyway, seems like you're serious about getting the poor girl out of her predicament. I can tell easy enough by the way you fought back there. Cut to the chase. Well, you helping or not? Never said I would. Opposite, even. Getting mixed up in other people's business isn't my way. Plus, as you are now, I reckon you could ride to a rescue without anybody's help. And that's the truth. You've changed since you first rolled into this here town. For the better. <laughs> At any rate, I've said all I'm gonna say. Your lady friend ought to be done changing by now, am I right? She ain't no Tifa, but she is a firecracker. Keep her waiting too long and she might just blow up in your face.
A piping hot spot. Built the Pretty rowdy place. Step right up. Huh? Step right up. If I can't they get call them themselves the bankers. Take a deep breath. What about Tifa? I heard Corneo was gonna audition new girls soon. And Tifa's... Tifa's gonna be... I just... I, I don't know what to do. Well, I do. I'll come too! Hey, Cloud! Bro, I can call you bro, right? Nope. Just wanna say, bro, that I'm totally relieved that you're looking out for Tifa. So, like... How'd you get so strong anyway, bro? I said, I think this is The way you fight, bro, is like poetry and violence. It's a delicious You know, I really wish I could be just like you. My problem is that I tend to overthink and overanalyze everything. So, bro, do you have any advice for a smart, stand-up guy like myself? No. Oh, come on! Well, this is it for me. Call me crazy, but, uh... I have a feeling that I'll just be getting in the way. Go find Aerith at Madame M's. Tell her to wait for me there when she's done. Think you can handle that? Yes, sir! Again. Got that letter of approval you mentioned. Huh? You know that's only good for women, right? Yeah, it's for Aerith. Who? Oh, that girl you were with. Sorry to hear that. Well, either way, you're stuck out here, pal. I can't let you in. I wasn't asking for permission. Huh? Wouldn't try it if I were you. Trust me, you don't want to screw with the Don. If you even think about causing any trouble, he'll make sure someone pays for it. And that someone might wind up being the girl you're trying so hard to break out. Or it could wind up being someone you've never even met before. Get it? You're in the Don's world now. Anyway, you've got some time yet. The audition won't start for a while. If you're sure you want to go through with this, then bring the girl and the letter. But if I were you, I wouldn't. is so gaudy and impossible to move in. Uh, 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 yeah. Cloud? Uh, uh, excuse me. Huh. Hey, wait a minute. Did Johnny forget to give you my message? The one asking me to stay put? No, I got it. I was worried about you. I'm starting to think this place is more dangerous than we thought. 
Who knows what they'll ask you to do in this audition? No way in hell I'll let you go in there by yourself. By myself? Oh, don't worry. I wasn't gonna. Come on, you'll see. See what, exactly? According to Madam M, you've caught the eye of a certain fabulous someone, and they'd like to meet in person. Huh? This way. Look at you all dolled up and fabulous. Where are you headed? Well, what do we have here? You're quite the pretty little lady. What? Say that again. Don't be like that. You're still the most beautiful girl on earth. Hey there, cutie. Where are you headed? Why don't you let me buy you a cup of coffee? I've done it again. You I come back. That dress was completely overshadowed. She's a lot to learn. You were like a beautiful flower. Time to go. This is it. Your destination. Why are we here? To see the honeybee inns Andrea Rodea and convince him to give you his stamp of approval. You said you didn't want me going alone, right? Well, with Andrea's help, you can join me. It'll be fun. And honestly, I think you'll look pretty cute in a dress. What? It's pretty rare for Andrea to take a personal interest in someone. At least, that's what Madame M said. Trust me, this is gonna work out great. Uh... Come on! Don't you wanna save Tifa? Wait. No can do, Cloud. This is our plan, and you'll learn to love it. So, here's how I think we should approach him. Madam M said Andrea was a man who'd give anyone a fair chance to win him over. So I say we march right up to him, explain the situation, and see where that gets us. Sound good? The audience is part of the performance. We have to help make it a great show. Good evening. Welcome to the entertainment extravaganza that is the Honeybee Inn. We're here to see Andrea Rodea. You must be Mr. Cloud. He's waiting for you. Mr. Cloud? I've been instructed to send you through without delay, sir. Please, make your way to the stage in the back. What stage? The one in the back, sir. Straight through those doors and down the hall. Okay, do you want to practice your dance moves first? Why would I want to do that? Andrea thought it might be a good idea. Over here! Come on now! Hey, hold on! I guess. Come on, come on! The show's about to start! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
My, my. Is that Cloud? Hmm. Darling, I had no idea. <laughs> you? Will you just sit tight until Andrea takes the stage? Look at his muscles. Ah, oh, he's blushing. <laughs> Welcome to the Honeybee Inn, Cloud. You seek my approval, do you? I understand. But those who crave my favor must first prove that they know how to move. Follow my lead.
Honey, I'm in love. Yes. Yes, I will transform you into a vision of beauty. Now, without further ado, let us begin! Without shame, to which notions of gender don't apply. Don't ever be afraid. That show today blew my mind. Hey, look at me! I can dance too. How much did you drink Just tonight? Come over I here. can't help How it. About it was amazing. Drink? Talk. Was it planned from the start? Probably not. Did you oh, see their wow. little surprise? Now that was a show. Cloud. I'm gonna perform on stage next yes. time. You who? Cloud. Hello. Come on, Dad. Time to go home and get some. Sleep. Aerith to Cloud. Come in. Wouldn't you agree? No more drink. What do you say? Please don't. Not a word. But one. Not even it's one? No. But you're so pretty. I would give anything to get to know her. Hey, don't you I'm gonna perform on stage this time. It'll be my big break. Come on, Dad. The one with the huge wine? So close. Hey, little lady, are you lost? There you go again. Stop looking at other girls. I only do it to compare them with you so I can realize how lucky I am. You know, am I dead? And these beautiful angels come from running me? when I heard you were putting on a show. I didn't know you were such an amazing dancer. I wouldn't recommend lifting in that outfit. But if you need to work up a sweat later, feel free to pop into the gym. Are you one of their models? Yeah. The ones who you wear those pretty clothes? Whoa, that is one hot chick. Huh? You're planning on fighting in that getup? <laughs> I don't know about that.
No way. Here you are. Letters from Andrea Rodea and Madame M. That ought to do the trick, right? You serious? Is there a problem? I hope you know what you're in for. Oh, we'll be fine. If you say so. Come on. The two of you here for the audition? Second floor, at the very end of the walk. And don't go poking your nose in where it doesn't belong. That one's Madame M's girl, ain't it? Man, she's hot. We've been waiting for you to show. Hey, hands to yourself. That Andrea's girl? I'd let her do things to me. Room's at the end. Keep walking. Gas. Come on. Damn it. Cloud. <laughs> so, how you pretty ladies doing? Feeling a little lightheaded? Better turn on back. Let's say we escort you to the parlor, so you can make yourself more comfortable. Let's get this show on the road. Where are you taking us? Come on now, I'm not too lazy. Hey, hey, there's a pair. Oh, the hell? You want to throw down the Cornelius girl? So if you leave a mark on him, you ain't getting off with him. I know. Man, it's going to some real lookers this time, though. Oh, <laughs> Can you hear me? Oh. Tifa? Yes? You okay? Mm-hmm. Good. Wait a minute. Cloud? Is that you? Oh my god, that makeup! And that dress! Nailed it, I know, thank you. Moving on. You good? Yeah, bit woozy, but I'll manage. <sighs> hey, Tifa, how you doing? Uh, okay. Oh, right. I'm Aerith, a friend of Cloud's. We were worried and thought we'd come help you out. Uh, thanks? Cut the chatter. We gotta leave. Huh? Right now. Uh, no, not until I've got what I came for. What? So. After we made it back to the slums, some guys came around asking all kinds of questions. So I did some digging. And found out they were Corneo's men. Right. They were interested in Avalanche. But I couldn't figure out why. So I thought I'd come and ask the man himself. Seriously? Thought if I could find a way in and get some one-on-one -on -one time, but then I realized I'd only be one of three candidates. And that if he didn't pick me, it would all be for nothing. Then your worries are over, aren't they? Because the other two candidates are right here. Right? Uh, right. So yeah, if we're all in on it, then nothing can go wrong. Uh, I guess not. You? Me? Cloud? Makes no difference who gets chosen, does it? I don't know, Aerith. It feels wrong getting you involved in all this. Don't even bother trying to talk her out of it. Oh, Cloud gets me. Took you long enough.
So what happens now? I think they'll call for us when it's time. This room gives me the creeps. Tonight's audition's about to begin. Head out the door to the left and up the stairs. Come on, ladies. Let's hustle. All right, guys. Let's do this. <laughs> do you want to do this? Beautiful ladies, time to line up for the dawn. Hmm. Hmm? Wait, you look kind of familiar. We haven't met before, have we? Mm -mm. Yeah. Uh, whatever. All right, y'all good to go? Then let's do this thing. Introducing Walmart's most eligible bachelor, the one and only Don Corneo. Ladies? Uh. Nice. Very nice. <laughs> Whichever one shall I pick? Mm. Oh. Shall I pick you? <laughs> or maybe you? Yeah. Days? And tomorrow's, or the day after's, if the dawn takes a shine to you. Pathetic. Huh? Hey, which one of you said that? Was it you? Ooh, you got a mouth on you. I'm gonna enjoy breaking it in. Today's lucky lady is the big bone girl. Huh? <laughs> Still playing hard to get? I can dig it. Oh, yeah. The leftovers are all yours. Yeah, yeah we! Okay. <laughs> okay, ladies. Y'all come with me. <sighs> Don't be shy, little kitten. Shimmy on over and give Daddy some sugar. No need to play coy. Nobody here but you and me. Oh, you're even cuter than I thought. Back off. Ooh! <laughs> this kitten's got claws! I love it! <laughs> what was that? Don't you worry, your pretty little head. Just a picture to preserve the moment. 
And to ensure you don't do anything inappropriate like say no. Asshole. Oh, praise me more! <laughs> hey, yo, fellas! We got guests, and y'all huh? got first crack at entertaining them. <laughs> Courtesy of the ever-generous Don Corneo himself, never forget the Don provides. Yeah. Good thing! Oh! <laughs> so, ladies, ready to get to it? Yeah. I guess I'm good to go whenever. How about you, Tifa? Mm. Four guys between us. Okay, let's not keep Cloud waiting. Right. Wait. I know you. The Coliseum! <laughs> what the hell? Get down! Stop, you stupid! Good job, Eric! It was nothing compared to you! <laughs> Andrea filled me in on the situation. I come bearing gifts with you. I'll do what I can to clean this up. Just finish the job. Let's go rescue Cloud. Corneo's room, right? Can do. And we're safe. What you a bad boy I bastard. am! <laughs> yes, yes I am! Here I come, baby! <laughs> hey, who the hell gave you permission to do that? One of you get in here and teach this bitch some manners! Sorry, but your boys had to learn some manners too. What the? Cloud, your clothes! <laughs> oh. 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 So 
So you're a man, huh? What are you three up to? We'll ask the questions. Like, why'd you have men in Sector 7 asking about Avalanche? Yeah. Huh? Don't know what you're talking about. Don't play dumb with me. Let's try again. Why did you have men in Sector 7 asking about Avalanche? Spill the beans, or... I'll cut them off. All right, all right! I'll talk, I'll talk! <sighs> Uh, some guy with a gun for an arm. I was paid to find him. Paid by who? I can't tell you that. They'd hunt me down like a dog. Well, you better. Because if you don't, I'll rip them off. <laughs> it was the director of public security, Heidegger. It was Heidegger. Shinra. And what were they planning? Some things are better left unsaid. You know. See, I'm not so sure they are. Better keep talking. Or I'll smash them. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you got me. I could never say no to a sexy girl. Since Avalanche blew up two reactors, Shinra's decided they ought to stamp them out, home base and all. And I mean, stamp out. By targeting the support pillar and blowing it up. The pillar? Did I stutter? The plate will come crushing down. It'll be Sector 6 all over again. I'm sure you've been there and seen the wreckage for yourself. So you know exactly what Sector 7's gonna look like. They wouldn't. Come on, guys. We gotta go. Before you do... No. Please, this won't take long. As everyone knows, villains only divulge their plans in a certain situation. But what is that situation? Hmm. <laughs> when they're faced with certain death, jackass. <laughs> Not what we were looking for. But you can find it in the sewers! <laughs> 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 Enjoy the sights and smells! <laughs>
Aerith. Cloud. We have to get to Sector 7. Yeah. Duty calls.
Stay back! Shake it off, okay? It's on you. Great. Stay still. Get some rest. Yes. There it goes. Do you think it lives down here, or...? It was probably Corneo's pet. And we were dinner. <laughs> hey, you don't believe that crazy story of his, do you? Shinra wouldn't sacrifice a whole sector just to take out Avalanche, would they? Destroying part of the city, killing all those people just to get at us? <laughs> I don't know. Is Corneo the kind of guy who'd make up shit just to screw with you? I wouldn't put it past him. But, if he was telling the truth... Hmm? And there's still a chance he was, isn't there? Then, we should go. And if it turns out he was lying, then so what? Right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hmm? Uh, <sighs> Tifa! I knew it. These tunnels are all connected. What is it? I'm pretty sure we can use these tunnels to make our way back to Sector 7. The sewers under Sector 6 and 7 should be connected. If you get in trouble, just follow the stench. Another one of those lessons? An avalanche thing, actually. We use them to move around the Undercity. 
in emergencies. Sure we're not lost? Positive. There should be a big waterway just up ahead. Let's find out first. Lead the way. We're under that, so...
be tough. Of course not. Never in doubt. Guess I got us. Really dark. I'm sure we'll be fine. Come on. Hey, Cloud. Assuming Corneo was telling us the truth, what do you think Shinra's really up to? I mean, they've got to have an endgame. But I can't imagine what it is. Destroying a whole chunk of the city just to get back at us doesn't make any kind of sense. Yeah, I can't imagine any way they could profit from it. It's gonna cost them a fortune to rebuild. Corneo's lying. He's gotta be. Guys like him do it all the time out of habit. That's a power generator, all right. Wow, talk about ancient. It's an antique, older than the Mako reactors even. It'll be a miracle if it still works.
Locked up tight. <sighs> but not if we use the skeleton key Jesse made. Huh. Does this mean it's in the water? We'll see. Wait a minute. I know this place. Sector 7 should be just on the other side of this waterway. So this is where Sector 6 ends. And where Sector 7 begins. Once we cross over, we can start looking for a way back to the surface. Might be harder than you think. Let's just try to make our way down this tunnel. See if we can't use those gates to clear a path. We can do this. We'll figure it out. Yeah, for sure.
Let's end this quick. Get him! Thank you. 
volley fire. Was never in doubt. Stop thinking about what Corneo said. I know. Me too. It's gotta be a trick. There's no way they'd go that far. But... But what if Corneo really was telling the truth? We have to get there in time to stop it. We have to. Right. <sighs> Aerith, what are you not telling me? Huh? Uh... Guys, come on. We gotta keep moving. Coming! I'll go first. Mm. <sighs> okay, Aerith. Your turn. On my way. Here we go. least I could do. Hear that, Cloud? <laughs> Come on. thinking about the plate? Yeah. The future isn't set in stone. That's what I always tell myself. Yeah. I hope you're right. How about this, then? Think of something fun. After saving Sector 7, you're gonna... I'm gonna... Go shopping. Topside. I'll buy stuff for the bar, decorations, coasters. Can I come? You'd better. Then it's a date. <laughs> Cloud can carry all our stuff. <laughs> He'll be our pack chocobo. <laughs> what was that about me? Nothing. Sorry about that. No need to be. 